Uh, welcome back, viewers. So, Mr. Ali, uh, this is a good statement of Tayyab Erdogan, and he is uh, um, uh, saying that the West has a duplicity. I mean, there are different standards for different people. So, what, how, what do you, I mean, how do you comment on that? Well, I think um, the, the whatever the values we stand for, we should apply it to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to everybody. I mean, it. Uh, let's say if we are really concerned about what what happened in, in mm -hmm. France mm -hmm. on the same day, a, a lot of people were killed in Yemen as well mm -hmm. by a terrorist attack. Yes. But I think it was in Pakistan. Like, yeah, yeah, in Pakistan, in, in many yeah. parts of yeah. the world as yeah. well. And um, let's say we're talking about freedom of express. Mm. Uh, there are now countries that who are jailing their journalists. Yeah. And so if, if we are really standing for uh, some values, some universal mm -hmm. values, and of course one of them is the freedom of speech, mm -hmm. we have to show the same concern mm -hmm. for everybody, no matter what country that person is living. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think that that's, that that's a big task. And it. most of the countries whose leaders were there in the Paris in the March, mm -hmm. In their own countries, the free, there is no freedom of expression. Right. And the journalists are gagged and they are prisoned, they are hanged, you know. Right. And this is also, I, I mean, a uh, contradiction to their uh, overall standard. What do you think for yourself? Well, the, the issue is that if, if you base, all the countries base their decisions based on justice and equality, mm -hmm. okay, including international laws, mm -hmm. okay, International law cannot be different for a different country, yes. what is happening right now. If that happens, then we will not have all these problems. Mm -hmm. The problem is we are applying law where it fits, mm -hmm. we are not applying law where it doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. Okay. One thing is very, very clear. Mm -hmm. A judge mm -hmm. or a superpower mm -hmm. cannot be partial. Superpower cannot have any friends. The only friend is making a just decision. Like if you go to a judge and if the judge says, oh, he's my friend, I'll do your decision, you will never accept that judgment and you'll revolt against it. Mm -hmm. Similarly, world powers have responsibility. Mm -hmm. All this you know, uh, in the United Nations, all the five veto powers to make sure that all things are done equally with justice. Mm -hmm. They cannot have any friends. They cannot have any interest in making those decisions. Mm. They are sitting on a judge's chair and they should behave like that. And who, who can benefit from these kind of incidents? Is, is Muslims? Is uh, uh, other I mean, uh, uh, people of the religion? Who will benefit? The Muslims are not benefiting yeah. it. It's uh, obvious. From it. It's very obvious. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to say that uh, those people who are uh, bringing uh, all these climate uh, calamities and uh, you know these terrorist activities mm -hmm. i don't know which part of islam they are representing mm -hmm. because uh, that's, that's this is not islam this yes. is not islam yeah. you know they they are killing the muslims yeah also it's not only that they are killing white people or mm -hmm. uh, europeans or all that in uh, pakistan you know yes. muslims are killing muslims yes. yeah. and those who are in uh, the aggression those who have the big guns they are also calling themselves muslims so I don't know who is benefit uh, benefiting from it. It's not definitely Islam is not uh, getting a good image. Mm -hmm. Muslims are not being uh, representative, mm -hmm. and uh, the Muslims are getting hurt by these kind of activities. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I want to mention. I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I want to mention about about uh, United States. In United States, there was a, 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 a Christian organization. Uh, of the white supremacist, what is that called? Uh, alien race. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And their main objective was to kill blacks. But they were never called Christian killing. killing. They were always called white supremacists and uh, mm -hmm. uh, alien race. Uh, and there was also that uh, they, they used to. Uh, KKK. KKK. Mm -hmm. So they were called these. But they were never called Christians. But the problem is that I don't know why a murderer is a murderer. It doesn't matter what uh, religion he belongs to. A killer is a killer. So tell, tell a killer a killer, um, not an Islamic killer. <laughs> yeah. Right. There is no Islamic uh, terrorist. Uh, I mean, uh, terrorist is a terrorist. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. And, and, and the, the uh, unfortunate part is mm -hmm. that we had this escalated mm -hmm. after the Afghan war. Mm -hmm. Okay. Afghan war was done to contain Soviet Union mm -hmm. and Pakistan participated in the Afghan war mm -hmm. because pa Pakistan was pro-West. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so Pakistan allowed all these people who wanted to do jihad against uh, Soviet Union, all the people from all over the world, uh, Muslims came, they were trained by Western powers mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they uh, helped uh, liberate uh, Afghanistan. After the Afghanistan was kind of liberated, mm -hmm. uh, Western powers left. These people who were trained to be soldiers, they were, I mean, left they were out. Out. Yeah. Yes, they were left out. Yeah, yeah. They, were no. they were on their own. Yeah, mm -hmm. so with that situation, uh, uh, how they went, uh, in the meantime, because they have lived that long, they got married, they got children, they got, I mean, the family life goes on. Yeah. Yeah. So with that situation, mm -hmm. this problem Pakistan has inherited because of West, helping West. So I think, yeah. uh, I think uh, that that's where the interfaith uh, dialogue enters mm -hmm. really important mm -hmm. because uh, those are the problems that are common to all humanity. I mean, the terrorism, mm -hmm. lack of education, mm -hmm. lack of you know opportunities for equal uh, things. Um, if if we just take that and try to blame it a, a religion for that, mm -hmm. then we are losing the, uh, the 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 main thing. I mean, uh, instead of thinking these people. Uh, these terrorists in, in Paris then bringing a, a, a discussion of Islam versus terrorism or Islam versus freedom of speech mm -hmm. or taking the example of Breivik in Norway and saying that this is an example of Christianity versus terrorism mm -hmm. we are really losing the main point of, of the discussion here terrorism is a problem of the, of the humanity now that's mm -hmm. it. I mean we have to fight it together that's it. all religions hand in hand we have to fight it uh, you know uh, and together and also I always feel the obligation to protect the dignity of my faith, mm -hmm. but also the dignity of other faiths as well. If I have a Muslim friend who talks bad about Christianity, I say, well, you know, uh, let, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Do you really, mm -hmm. did you really read something about mm -hmm. it? Do you really know about the Bible? I think we have to instill that respect among each other to protect the dignity of. of How can we instill this this uh, sense of, I mean. Uh, uh, respect for other religions in, in, in other people and children, Doctor? Um, well, first of all, I want to respond to the mm -hmm. racial issue mm -hmm. that uh, aliens, uh, it's supremacy concept and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, there are four races in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, aliens, mm -hmm. which uh, belong to Germany, Turkey, Iran, and the northern part of Pakistan is mm -hmm. also aliens. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second one is Semitics, Semitics mm. as Jews mm. and Arabs and other races living in that part of the world. Mm -hmm. And then the Negroids, mm. uh, the black uh, uh, people living in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, they are Negroids currently. Then the Megorites, the mm. Megorites are the uh, Chinese and mm -hmm. Vietnamese and Korean and all that. And over the years, mm -hmm. you know, after World War II, when the migration uh, started, when the immigration started, uh, from third world countries into Europe, the situation of races have changed even. Mm -hmm. Even the Jews who used to be a pure race, you know, mm -hmm. they call themselves pure race or the Aryans or the Semitics, they no longer are pure races anymore. Mm -hmm. So the issue has become uh, the religion, mm -hmm. hate speech, mm -hmm. teaching hatred uh, toward other religion, mm -hmm. and out of that has sprung uh, terrorism. So now the human hu uh, humanity is facing the threat of terrorism regardless of their religion, regardless of yes. their race. In Pakistan, there are not only Pakistan, uh, you know, uh, who are uh, Pakistanis who are calling themselves Taliban and uh, they call themselves the true Muslims, they are forming the uh, way, the Al-Qaeda. But there are Chechen, there are Uzbek, there are all kinds of uh, you know people who are who have infiltrated into Pakistan and they are sporting those activities. Mm -hmm. So do you think they are Muslim? Do you think they are Chechen? Do you, do you think they are Afghan or Pakistan? No, they don't have any religion. No, Their yes. agenda is to kill. Terrorism has no religion. No religion. Yes. So the freedom of speech, uh, uh, you know, come back to our main mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm has nothing to do with race or religion anymore. I think it's a social norm mm -hmm. and the people of each country, people mm -hmm. of each mm -hmm. uh, society need to work on that and establish as a truth, as mm -hmm. universal truth, 
that the freedom of speech is there, but don't go over, uh, don't step over other bodies, someone else's feet, mm -hmm. and uh, stay within your limit. Don't hurt the society. Don't hurt other, uh, hurt other people who are living among you, and don't hurt their emotional sentiment. Living in in America, country like America, what should be done? Uh, I mean, to 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 reform this kind of, to improve this kind of situation for the Muslims. Well, to be very frank, there is there is very little, uh, I would say, racism mm -hmm. or hatred or uh, dislike or things like that in America. Yeah. This society is, that's why there's hardly any terrorism here. Okay? Yeah. Uh, we have been fortunate we, we, that we, we, live, we live in America and this society has accepted us mm -hmm. as we are. Mm -hmm. This is multicultural dimensional society. Mm -hmm. Children go to school, they, they mm -hmm. learn how to tolerate each mm -hmm. other because of the multidimensional society, it's an environment which has been created, mm -hmm. uh, which, 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 which doesn't make you hate anybody, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, Unless he comes and punches you, then mm -hmm. you say, hey, what about punch me? But otherwise, this is a very good society. Mm -hmm. Only there are fringe elements of extremism, who are extremists or rednecks or whatever you call them. But uh, otherwise, the whole society is very friendly, very cooperative, very understanding. I've been pastor of rednecks for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did have. <laughs> yeah, I, I was the yeah. pastor of rednecks in East Texas for 12 years. If you were acceptable. <laughs> I was acceptable. I was, accepted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was their spiritual guide mm. and they accepted me. Good. And uh, you know, in every small town that I served, mm. I served Newton, I served Deer Park, I served Centerville, mm. every small town. Mm -hmm. Two people were very respectable. Mm -hmm. One, uh, three people. Mm -hmm. One was the county judge who is the law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second, the school superintendent, mm -hmm. and the third one, pastor. Mm -hmm. So I happened to be that third person mm -hmm. who was very well respected in the society. Mm -hmm. Even they knew that I am Pakistani, mm -hmm. I am brown. Mm -hmm. I was still accepted, and I didn't. Uh, honest to God, I did not uh, have any experience of prejudice. Mr. Ali, yeah. I just want to say this uh, similar. <coughs> Thing, uh, because I served at St. Luke's Hospital as a Muslim chaplain, mm -hmm. we were just talking about it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was the first Muslim chaplain in, in that hospital. So when the patients call you to talk, sometimes they would say, you know, they, they want to talk about religion. Mm -hmm. And I, I used to tell them, I'm a Muslim chaplain, do you mm -hmm. want me to you know, pray mm -hmm. for you? Mm -hmm. Do you mind? And in, I mean, there hasn't been only one event that I was never told, no, please, you know, you go and send me a Catholic priest or Episcopal priests. I mean, the society has great value uh, mm -hmm. in this sense too. So we are in the end of the program. Yeah. Let me yeah. ask, mm -hmm. tell you something which is very interesting that happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. In North Carolina, there is a church, mm -hmm. Duke's uh, Chapel, okay. and they are going to do azan yeah. five times a day mm -hmm. from that church. Mm -hmm. We must appreciate these gestures, mm -hmm. okay, and we need to educate. Uh, all the people we know, no matter what, that this is the thing that needs to open up. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. There was another incident, we mm -hmm. went to Sanford University. Mm -hmm. Okay, my, my friend's uh, son wanted to get admission in there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one of the persons who was in the group said, oh, it's one o'clock, let's go and pray. Mm -hmm. And somebody had told him that there's a mosque there. Mm -hmm. So, we were looking, we went to canteen, we went to other places and we couldn't find. So, somebody said, go to the church, they, they will know where it is. So, we went to that church. And the church pastor said, which room you want me to be okay, so you can pray? Yeah. Mm. So, America is a good society. Yeah, yeah. America is it's a good society. As a, as a head of uh, uh, Interfaith Dialogue Institute, uh, what activities you have in your mind to, 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 to create a change in the society here? <clears throat> I think um, the, the, the activities we have been doing for uh, mm -hmm. more than a decade, we got a lot of positive response mm -hmm. from the uh, communities we serve. Mm -hmm. Actually, it started in Houston in 2000, mm -hmm. but now it's spread to six different states in the southwest part of the country mm -hmm. because of this positive response we receive from society. So just to give a couple of examples, we have uh, panels of Abrahamic faith traditions mm -hmm. where we invite a a rabbi, a priest, an imam to mm -hmm. talk about a certain issue, mm -hmm. then we open it for Q&A. We have, we organize international trips to um, mm -hmm. 
provide this one-on-one -on -one dialogue experience to the participants. Uh, we have our annual dialogue and friendship dinners, we have art contests, I just uh, mentioned. Mm -hmm. We have congregational visits and we invite uh, important people to talk on the importance of interfaith dialogue. So those are the activities. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, if you go to El Paso now, if you go to New Mexico, if you go to, um, I don't know, uh, Mississippi, mm -hmm. you would find a dialogue activity over there, which was, which is well embraced by the society. And that's good. So uh, we are uh, uh, short of time. And thank you very much for being with us, Mr. Ali. Thank, thank you very you much. Dr. Fazal, thank you. Mr. Fayyaz, thank you very much. You also have uh, uh, watched the program, you have uh, uh, discerned us, and the conclusion is that Islam has no link to terrorism. Terrorism has no religion, and the terrorism is a threat being faced by humanity at large. There is no one uh, specific community which is, uh, no specific country which is being faced by this threat. It's humanity at large is, uh, is, is facing this threat, and we have to fight against this threat, this terrorism. Pakistan is fighting against this terrorism. Pakistani army is fighting this terrorism. Pakistani nation is fighting against this terrorism. And another thing is there should be a freedom of speech, but there should not be allowed to have a hatred speech, which can uh, create hatred among different cultures and, and different uh, religions. So uh, there is also a need to search common grounds uh, among various cultures and among various uh, religions. Uh, there is also a need to um, uh, have interfaith dialogues between different various uh, religious peoples. So religious leaders should play their role to create harmony uh, among various uh, followers of various followers of various religions. So this is the message from uh, Wide Angle today. Allah